Hey everyone, welcome to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan, and today what I want to do is show you how to take your repeater element and turn it into a multi-column layout. So let's say you have a blog post layout using the repeater in Oxygen like this, but you want it to have the featured image, the title, the text, and a read more button kind of all stacked on top of each other, and maybe like a three wide column layout instead of it being 100% width. That's super easy to achieve, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So go ahead and switch over to the oxygen editor where your repeater lives. Let me show you the structure pane here. I have the repeater with the main div here, and inside of that I have a column. In the left div is just my featured image, and the link wrapper is set to the permalink of the post, so if somebody clicks on the link, it takes them to this particular blog post. Same thing is true over here on the right side. The heading has the link wrapper, and the link data is set to permalink, just like this read more button down here. And then this text is basically just the excerpt of the post. So what we need to do is basically just choose the main repeater element above the actual div inside of it, make sure that repeater is selected, and then go to the layout tab. In that, you can change this to stack horizontally, and obviously that looks really rough at the moment because we haven't defined a width. So we're gonna go to allow multi-line. I want everything to be vertically aligned, and then I want the horizontal item alignment to be space around. And then what we can do is go to the div inside of the repeater, and we can set this div's width to something like 32%, so there's a little bit of space surrounding it if you wanted to add like a border or box shadow. But obviously this layout looks really broken because of the fact that it's not stacking properly, so we need to basically eliminate the columns element, and an easy way to do that is to just more or less pull the content out of the div. So I'm gonna collapse these items over here in my structure pane, and then I'm just gonna basically pull these items out of the column inside of the div. And this is gonna take a little bit of refreshing here on the main screen and a little bit of reorganization in a second. But then we can just effectively delete this columns element. And now although this stuff isn't quite organized properly, the idea is pretty much there. So I'm gonna put this heading element underneath the image. And then you might not want the excerpt in this particular layout just because it's a lot of content. But let's go ahead and just take it and pop it above our read more. I think I want everything in this div to be left aligned. And this heading looks like it's centered for some reason. So we'll go to text align left. And then we probably want to click on this image element and maybe actually choose the link wrapper that's containing it and then add some margin beneath that. So 40 is probably too much. Let's go like 25 pixels. This heading element I think has 40 pixels of margin. Oh no, it's 25 as well, so perfect. So there's 25 pixels of margin on the image, the heading, and then the text element as well. And then in this actual main div here, I wanna add some padding. So let's go like 15 pixels all the way around. And then let's add some box shadow here. So let's go to effects, box shadow. I'm gonna set the color to black and then change the opacity to like 15%. Let's do shadow horizontal offset of zero, vertical of 10, shadow blur of 20, and then shadow spread of zero. And then that starts to look like a pretty nice layout. Another thing that you could do if you want your image to stretch to the edges of this container is basically wrap all of this stuff in a div and add padding to that. So then you're not forcing the image to be off of the edges of this container here. So what I'm gonna do is click on this link wrapper which has my heading, click the little hamburger and choose wrap with div. And then I'm gonna pop this stuff inside of it, which is that is not what I meant to do with this text here. I'm gonna pull this back out of that link wrapper, minimize that, and then take this text link and pop it inside. And then it will take, obviously, once again, a little bit more reorganization. So pop the heading back on the top, and then put the excerpt text above the read more link. And then what I'm gonna do is add, let's say like 25 pixels of padding all the way around to this div here. And then I'm gonna go back to the main div and I'm gonna remove the padding. So basically just delete it out of all the sides. And so there we have our image stretching to the bounds of that container so that there's no border, no white border around the edges of the image. But there is padding around all the other content in here which starts to look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and save and then we'll take a look on the front end. So this is what it looked like before. And then if I refresh the screen now, then there's our three wide layout. So I set the width of these divs to 32% each, so it adds up to a little bit less than 100. So that way there's a little bit of space between them. If you did 33% for all of them, of course that doesn't add up to 100% either, but that closes up that gap a bit more. So basically just do the math, make it add up to 100%, or 
you can do a little bit less than 100 like I did to have a little bit of a gap. And then the other reason why I chose the option for the layout here, let me go back to the repeater in the layout. The reason why I chose space around instead of space between is that down at the bottom, if you have an odd number of posts, then it's going to basically center them. So like, let's say you had two down here at the bottom instead of three, it's gonna put one of them kind of in this section and then another over here. Whereas if you did space between, it's gonna push one all the way to the left and one all the way to the right. So you can kind of play with that a little bit if you wanted to achieve a different layout. The space between does look good because there's a bigger gap here and it pushes your content to the left and right edges of your repeater. So just play with this and kind of get the layout that you're after. But as you can see, it's really simple to achieve the multi-column repeater. Another quick little tip I'll share with you is if you want your columns here to be stacked so that they match in terms of height, all you have to do is basically change the vertical item alignment of your main repeater element here to just stretch. And there you go, you can see that now it basically pushes the column to match the heights, even though the content in the middle doesn't quite line up. So that comes down to a personal preference thing, and really that's gonna be dictated by things like how long is your heading, how long is your excerpt text. So that's something that you would have to play with, but all you gotta do is basically just make that change, and you can see how it kind of affects the height of those columns.